Hi guys, um, my name is Melissa and I just wanted to take a quick minute to um, quickly record a video on why I want to open up my own online shop. Um, so my shop name will be Hope25 and you can find that at hope25.com. Um, so to tell you a little bit more about my story, I was diagnosed with breast cancer in August of 2015. Um, and I just remember sitting there at 25 um, hearing the doctor say um, that you've been diagnosed and my whole world just sort of flipped upside down. I was so scared. I didn't know what my future was going to look like. I didn't think I had a future at first. Um, it was a very, very scary time. Um, but she threw all the words at me that I also never thought I'd hear like chemotherapy and hair loss. And I just I had no idea what that would look like quite literally. Um, and I just remember going online shortly after that and sort of looking up um, wigs and hats and scarves and just felt like a lot of those places for cancer uh, fighters just felt like they were geared toward older people or older women. And I just sort of felt like out of place. And then um, sort of a little bit after that I found um, an online store that did sell sort of um, fun wigs but it was just a little bit out of my price range and I couldn't afford it. So that's sort of where the idea was born um, for opening up my own online store was to um, sort of sell fun wigs um, for young cancer young cancer fighters. Um, wigs similarly to the one that I'm wearing right now um, which is like a black to teal sort of ombre wig um, and um, that's idea number one and product number sort of one that I wanted to sell. Um, the second one were bags of hope. When I was first diagnosed I got so many gift bags and gifts and it was just amazing um, to see everyone just sort of tell me that they love me and that they were thinking about me um, in way of a gift. It just made me feel special. I mean who doesn't love receiving a gift right? So my idea sort of sort of having a gift bag that you can buy someone it's already put together um, for someone who has just been diagnosed to sort of give them encouragement and show them love and show them that they can um, fight this um, that idea was sort of born and again I want to call that bag of hope um, and so it's just gonna be filled with a whole bunch of different things that I don't want to tell you just yet because I'm still working on everything but for example one of the things is um, a mini deck of like uno cards um, and these are things that I like handpick myself because um, either I use them a lot or or, um, I know that would uplift someone um, or I know that they would just be of, of great use overall um, so Uno cards was one thing that I played with family um, in the beginning when I would go in for my weekly chemo treatments um, so that's sort of one another idea um, and then lastly I wanted to have um, the shop filled which is sort of items that had inspirational like quotes and Bible verses on it to sort of give someone hope to sort of uplips uplip uplift someone um, who is sort of going through a really really hard time so that person can either buy it themselves or it can be a gift for someone who's struggling um, and then some of these products um, are sort of for um, just kind of funny that you could wear maybe to your, like your last day of chemo for example one shirt has chemo finito written on it and that was an idea my brother had and I actually had those printed for myself for my last chemo so things like that um, when I was first diagnosed I sort of went online um, to sort of maybe get like a t-shirt or something to wear to chemo um, but all I could find were um, things that were pink and things that had like breast cancer written really big and I just I knew that I didn't want anything quite like that I wanted something a little bit more subtle something that didn't have a stupid ribbon on it like um, but I couldn't really find anything and so I want my products to um, be you know say things like beating cancer like a boss but maybe not just be so like in your face breast cancer um, and um, to go back to the whole inspirational products and things, um, I just, I really hope my store can just bring someone hope and to inspire someone and to tell someone that they can get through this. Um, I've had a really, really hard year. Um, not only was I diagnosed with cancer, um, this is really hard to talk about, so I'm not going to talk about it, but um, my dad was also diagnosed and passed away a few months after that. And so it's been really, really hard and heartbreaking and it's been hard to have hope sometimes and it's been hard to face the fear that I've had um, but I want to use my experiences to help someone else I want to show someone who's fighting cancer that they're not alone I want to show someone who has um, a loved one who has cancer that they're also not alone that I've been through this that other people are going through this that they're um, again just not alone in this journey even if it seems like they are um, one common theme I've had 
last year and I brought into this year is that I just want to punch fear in the face. And so um, one of my products in, in the bag of hope, I'm cheating, I'm telling you guys another product, but will be these sort of necklaces, little boxing glove necklaces, as sort of just a physical reminder that, you know, you can punch fear in the face. Together we can punch fear in the face. Together we can get through this. Again, you're not alone. Um, and so I just want to sell this product individually and in the bags um, so that people can buy this just as um, just as a little thing of hope around their neck, really. Um, my journey has been difficult, but um, I don't want to waste cancer. In the beginning of my diagnosis, my brother had gifted or sent me an email, um, sort of a short book um, written by someone who, who said just that, that they didn't want to waste cancer. And that's something that um, has just stayed with me this entire time. I want to use my cancer in some way to help somebody else. Um, so your donation, um, if you feel um, like you want to donate, um, would be to help me help others. I just want to bring a smile to someone's face. I just want to help other people whether it's by them receiving a product or by uh, me posting something encouraging on Instagram. Um, you know, I want to be very real on my Instagram and on my social media and on my blog. Um, I want to let people know that I'm real and that I'm struggling just like they are. Um, and so that's sort of how I want to help others. Um, so your donation will help me help others, hopefully. Um, I ask for prayers. I ask for a donation um, on my hope25.com store. Um, so that's just a little bit about me and my story. Um, let me know if you have any comments or any suggestions. I would love to hear it. Um, again, I want to sell t-shirts and mugs and bags of hope and wigs. Um, but more than that, I want to bring smiles to people's faces who are struggling and I want to provide them inspiration and hope that they can get through this. Thank you.